Hi, it's me again. This week we're at Florida Tile, and this is April. She's here to help us really navigate how to do um, some decorative pins. April is going to help us um, figure out how to design how we want our showers to go. And we're just going to talk about some different options for tile. We're, we'll talk about showers and, and bathroom floors, as well as uh, laundry room, backsplashes, um, the advantage of porcelain over maybe marble, and uh, she's also gonna, going to highlight some different features that we can go with. So first of all, uh, this is a classic look. Yes. Talk to us about this. <laughs> so the subway towel um, has been around for a long, long time, and it's very popular to this day. Um, I think what we have seen over time is the traditional 4 by 4s transition to the rectangular size. So a lot of customers want the 3 by 6 or larger format. So here I have the Streamline Series Arctic Mat in the 4 by 16, which is a very popular um, product for Florida Towel. We sell a lot of this. And I have paired it up with the black and white basket weave, which is a porcelain towel, which is typically used for your shower floors because it's a smaller mosaic accent and it's flexible, something that can give around the drain. Um, that's something that you want when you have a circular or a square drain, something that is flexible. Um, if you do not um, have a circular or square drain and you have more of a linear drain, you can go with a bigger formatted towel. But most people have your standard square circular drains and you need something that's flexible to be able to get. So I picked this basket weave because that fits right along with our 4x16 subway towel. We also have a decorative porcelain uh, floor. It can also go as an accent inside your shower. This is by Jeffrey Court. Um, this is probably something that's more of a trend right now. I can't say that this would be a timeless look. Um, a lot of people enjoy this now, but maybe 10, 15 years from now, it might be bye-bye. But this can be used for your floor or for wall. This is a porcelain product. I think this is so neat. I would love this for my, my bathroom floor, for sure. You see it a lot in laundry rooms as well and powder rooms. And we have this one picked up here for laundry rooms too. This is also porcelain, right? Uh -huh. That's by Soho. Yeah. So this is a great line here at Florida Tile. They have so many different options and I love all of them. I think they're really interesting. And um, so we recommend putting this in a laundry room just because uh, that's, well, for one, one thing, this is easy maintenance. Uh -huh. And if you get tired of it, there's always different ways that you can dress up your laundry room, but uh, you don't want something that, you know, is super white uh, in case it requires a lot of cleaning and maintenance, at mm -hmm. least in my opinion, because my laundry room is also my dog room. Right. So well, I would much rather prefer to have something like this on the floor than um, something it's white that is and bright white, right. for sure. So what do we have up next? So next we have the marble look yeah. without having the marble price tag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a marble hexagon piece. It's by Florida Tau. Um, the series is Enchant and the color is called Honesty. Um, this is one of our newer lines that Florida Tau has to offer. It's a porcelain product, but it's meant to give you that feel of marble without being marble. Mm -hmm. A lot of times um, people come in and they have pictures of things they saw on Pinterest or Howl's or maybe they have inspiration from HGTV. And what they see or what they have are pictures of marble. Marble is very pretty. You, can, you have a lot of choices with marble. However, the price tag of marble <laughs> is higher. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's more maintenance when it comes to marble. And not everyone knows that piece too, but they just know what they like, what they saw. So we offer a marble look with half the cost and less maintenance. Um, this particular line has a couple of different sizes. 
It's a porcelain product, so it is good for your floor and for your wall. Um, this is also a good format for the shower floor because it's flexible. Um, it, the price range per se with this one is in between. It's not as high as your marble, but it's not on the lower end either. It's a very, very, very good product. Um, you can use any cleaning agent that you want. You don't have to worry about using something that has phosphoric acid in it. If you have marble, you wouldn't want to use anything that has a phosphoric acid because it's, it's harsh to a product like that. Um, the other advantage is you have that cost effectiveness. You're not going to pay $16 a square foot for porcelain. You will pay that or a little bit higher for marble. Um, so there are some advantages to using a porcelain product that looks like marble versus the real thing. Now what we have done in the past, you have some looks that you cannot obtain in the porcelain product over the marble. So we can mix and match. I've had customers come in and we'll do the marble for the, the shower walls or all the walls in the bathroom, mm -hmm. but we'll use the porcelain for the shower floor or for the main floor. So you can mix and match as long as it looks good together. You don't want to mix and match things and then they're, they're kind of off and you can tell that they're off. And I liked how you highlighted that this comes in a matte color as well because mm -hmm. uh, at first glance when I would think of putting this on my shower floor I'd be a little concerned about how slippery it would be when it's wet but uh, this also comes in a matte finish so mm -hmm. the matte would be much better for the shower floor and then this definitely for either a decorative or just the regular bathroom floor, main floor, right. main floor yeah. And you can do the same if you chose to go with your the natural stone, the marble, you can do a polished or it's called polished or you can do a honed, which is more of your matte finish mm -hmm. than the marble if you chose to go with the more expensive route. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you brought up another piece um, that would be excellent for her. It's their 53rd Avenue collection. It's pretty much elongated hex. It costs around $12 a square foot. Um, and it's, it's decorative. It's nice. You don't have to do this long gated hex. You can do a, a nice simple 12 by 24 rectangular or 12 by 12. Uh, but this is just nice because it has a little bit of depth to it, something different. But this can go on your floor and wall. Yeah, I notice a lot of people gravitating towards this, these kind of designs um, because they, they do always look so um, refreshing timeless. but timeless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So this is very popular. And then I've noticed too, um, a lot of customers, they're going with quartz, and a mm -hmm. lot of the quartz that they're choosing like is um, more of a, like a career or calicata, just soft mm -hmm. veining. Yep. Not a lot of busyness to it. Um, and so they want something that's kind of light and with the soft veining to kind of correspond with the quartz. Let's move on to the decorative. <laughs> so we've already talked about. Uh, doing something a little bit more decorative for the laundry room. But now let's talk about what else we could do in the shower if we want to do something a little more, uh, I don't know, exciting, risky, just depending <laughs> on what your taste is. I personally like um, a little bit of color in my shower. And uh, also, uh, we picked up some warm pieces to start. So this, you want to tell us about this? So this is a ceramic wall towel. This is by Soho. Um, the series is Baroque and the color is copper. So basically a three by six um, ceramic wall towel that is only recommended for wall. And if you want to shower, the nice thing about Soho products, they kind of give you an application where you can use it. So if you look here, it tells you um, where you know what you can use it for. So it can go in the shower, but it will not be recommended for a floor. Okay. Um, we don't recommend ceramics for your floor um, because porcelain is a lot more durable. Mm -hmm. um, so this again is a ceramic, and it will be nice for your wall. It is a, a pretty bow color, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a matching um, hex pattern that could. Be used for the floor, correct? Yes, that is the porcelain is, from uh, Jeffrey Porter. Yeah, 
So this would match beautifully um, if you like that copper look, which personally I think is just really neat. Or you can also go with something a little bit more classic. This is a, a wood-like tile, and this is porcelain as yes. well, right? So this can be floor mm -hmm. or or wall application. Yeah, so this is a Florida tile product um, by uh, the line is Natura and the uh, color is Hampton Blonde and it can be used for both shower walls or for your main floor. Um, I have a lot of people use it for your main floor because they like that look of porcelain mm -hmm. or wood porcelain look. Yeah. Um, it gives you that look of hard wood but it's not hard wood. I mean it's a lot more um, Durable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially um, in areas where it would be wet. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you can also, you know, if you like a little bit of a comfort, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can use these. You can put these yep. under yeah. your porcelain towel and have a heated master bathroom floor or maybe a, um, have your kitchen area have the floor mm -hmm. heated wherever. Yeah. So uh, we could go with this look or another personal favorite of mine is doing more of a brick design. This is also Soho. And is this porcelain or is this ceramic? That is actually ceramic. So this is more of a wall application. Yes. It can be used mm -hmm. for the shower wall. Mm -hmm. Shower walls. And it's called Colonial White. Yes. So Colonial, Colonial is the series and then the uh, color would be Wood White. And it's a 3 by 12 So if you want just a little bit of, of color, but still um, staying with something that's a little more calming, soothing, a little, but a little bit rustic too. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be a perfect option. And then you could pair it with, I love how you picked out, this is very neat. This is the first time I've actually seen this particular for shower floors. Mm -hmm. So this is a natural stone. This is what we call pebbles. And the pebbles are really fun. They're nice. Um, a lot of times people are like, oh, I don't want pebbles on my shower floor. They're going to hurt my feet. <clears throat> but this is flat, so it won't hurt your feet. Um, it gives you a nice look. It's something different, and I'm, I'm a fan of doing things that are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people who want the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fun for designers when we get an opportunity to do a little bit oh, definitely. of something that is creative mm -hmm. and not what you typically see. Um, so these are a nice choice to go with this ceramic uh, subway tile style look. And this is like a wood kind of a mm -hmm. pattern, but it's rustic and it ties in with the pebbles. And the pebbles are from MSI and they're called um, flat charcoal. And it comes on a 16 by 16 sheet, which we cut these down just to fit uh, the display board but it is a bigger format that it comes on with a mesh backing so it would be fine for um, a shower floor pan it'll be flexible well we can use this in a shower niche too right mm -hmm. yeah. you can use it as a decorative accent as well and what i also loved about this is it's so smooth so even though it looks rough, right, rough this it's <laughs> it's going to be so easy to clean and also i wanted to highlight our accent walls for your water closet uh, because and my opinion. Uh, water closets are, are really nice for privacy, but sometimes uh, we can kind of overlook the design part and they can become just dark areas of the, <laughs> of the bathroom. Um, not exactly a homey experience. So we want our water closets to be comfortable. And so something I've been seeing a lot of is doing what we call um, what did you so we call it a, a accent wall. So hopefully you can see in the camera as I'm moving this, you can see the reflections. There's actually a nice flower design. It's really, really beautiful. Um, so if you put this on one wall, it will really look like wallpaper, but you don't have the maintenance and it's still very easy to clean. It's um, just a beautiful, soft, look to it. You could do this for a half wall too and then um, you know break it up a little bit but if you find this to be a little bit too risky there is just a plethora of other different
kinds of wall tiles now that you can use to look like wallpaper. Um, something that you'll never ever feel like you have to change, but adds a lot of decoration to your home. Back to what you were saying here, this is the accent wall, but it's also a statement piece. It's a conversational piece. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, what is that? Yeah. Is it paint? Is it wallpaper? No. It almost looks like yeah. oh, is yeah. it metal? What is it? And it, it, it's very eye-catching. Um, mm -hmm. And so just little things in a space. It, it doesn't have to be a huge space. It can be a, a medium-sized space. Or it can, like you said, it could be a, a, a water closet or whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. But just having something that is a decorative piece that is a eye-catcher. It just makes for conversation, mm -hmm. and it just gives you that sense of, oh, this is something different, something no one else has, you know. Mm -hmm. So I love decorative wall towel. It's, it's, awesome. it's awesome, and it's a lot to choose from. And that's what we do. We build custom homes. So mm -hmm. when when our homeowners move in, we want them to feel like this this home was designed by them. Specifically um, for me. Yes. <laughs> yes. It doesn't look like anybody else's house, and it reflects who I am. Mm -hmm. So um, if you feel like this reflects you well it's the first thing that you see when you walk in the, the door so actually we'll probably come back here in a few months once they get some new displays because i'm very excited about what is coming up next well thank you so much for talking us through some of this it's very nice to come in here this morning and um, if you have any more questions as you know you can always post it to the bottom of the